Welcome to the show, everybody. We've got a huge episode today. We are talking about five fantasy football running back breakouts, including a couple honorable mentions and bonuses at the end of the video, guys. Five fantasy football RB breakouts. Big episode. Before we get in this show, guys, I want you to take some action. Head on over to thefantasyfootballcounselor.com. It is officially draft season. Do not hesitate. Head on over to thefantasyfootballcounselor.com and get the 16-round draft solution right now. It's going to put you light years ahead of the competition. Optimal players to draft in each round, breakout sleepers, including full mock drafts done by me. It's like having me at the draft with you. I've also linked it below here on YouTube. Head over to thefantasyfootballcounselor.com. Get the 16-round draft solution right now. Let's get to the show, guys. Five running back breakouts for this season, including some honorable mentions at the end. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome to the show. Big episode. You guys know we're talking breakouts here. And before we get into this, guys, head on over to manscaped.com. Use promo code SHOWER. Lion, amazing fit and finish on their products, skin safe technology, navigational light. They've got ball wipes, they've got underwear, they've got the brand new lawnmower 4.0. Guys, battery life on this is phenomenal. You can shave in the dark, you're gonna stay groomed, you're gonna stay fresh. Go get one, use promo code Shower Lion, save yourself. 20 percent. Also, guys, uh, if you're into DFS daily fantasy, now I love year long. But if you guys want to get into DFS, Daily Fantasy, DM me. I got something special coming next week. DM me the word DFS on my Instagram at Fantasy Football Counselor. Go do that right now to stop pullover. Uh, if you guys are new to DFS or want to get into DFS, now's the time. I'm going to help you guys crush it this year uh, because I love DFS because every week we get to draft. So that, that's a lot of fun, and we're going to do that together. We're going to have some fun. So DM me, guys, the word DFS on my Instagram, Fantasy Football Counselor. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? All right, let's talk about it, guys. <clears throat> Five fantasy football running back breakouts. Now, I've done other breakout episodes here. There may be a few names here that I've not mentioned. Uh, this is going to probably be my final running back breakout list. Now, there's other guys that could break out. JV and Hawkins. Maybe even Darwin Thompson this year, right? He never got the chance. And if you guys have seen some videos, I keep seeing him get posted. Darwin Thompson... Staying after practice, running up hills, you know, staying before, you know, coming in before practice. Um, there's a lot of guys that kind of always, you know, go unnoticed, right? There is guys <clears throat> that are sleepers that just never got that chance. I'm not saying Mike Boone is great, but he's on the Denver Broncos. Mike Boone, when he played, he looked pretty good in those, you know, those flashes, but he never got the volume. There is a ton of guys that were really good in their careers, but just never got that volume. And again, maybe this is the year that could happen, right? So I'm going to list you a couple names here, then a couple honorable mentions, but just always understand that maybe a Chuba Hubbard, right? Chuba Hubbard looks pretty good in preseason. Maybe a Chuba Hubbard takes over the season and completely breaks out, you know, if, if Christian McCaffrey goes down. So there's a ton of guys that could actually really break out. But I got a list of five, including a couple honorable mentions that will really kind of get, guide you in the right direction, okay? So let's start off here. First one here. Now, first one I'm talking about is you guys know I love him. And that's okay, okay? It is what it is. The guy I'm talking about is Najee Harris. His college numbers look phenomenal. 251 attempts, 1,466 yards, 20-plus touchdowns. He got it done in the receiving game with 43 receptions as well, including four receiving touchdowns in college. The Steelers believe in him. They invested a very early draft capital in him, right? He was their first pick. So Najee Harris is 100% going to eat this year. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the fact of the matter is... You know, a lot of people are saying, well, Joe, the O-line's bad. Listen, they made some shifts. They made some moves. They made some adjustments on the O-line. I'm confident in the offense. I'm confident in Big Ben running this offense. I'm totally confident in Najee Harris. The hunger, the people ask me, why, why Najee Harris? Volume. No committee. Young. Hungry. Talent. Steelers invested high draft capital on him. He is like your vision of what you want in a full workhorse running back, Right. Najee Harris is going to have a major breakout, currently sitting around 13th on the Kinshipsis rankings amongst running backs. This guy was sitting 24th on the Kinshipsis rankings about a month or two ago. His ADP has slid up. I'm confident in him. He's going to finish top five, top 10 with ease. 
Love Najee Harris this season. He's going to get the volume. He will eat major fantasy football running back breakout. Now, I do have um, a couple rookies here. I also have a couple guys in the second year, third year. So let, let's go through this. Second guy here. Listen, Vic Fangio, head coach of the Denver Broncos, believes in Javante Williams. Don't think he doesn't notice the 5.8 yards per carry in the first preseason game. The four-yard touchdown pledge that got negated due to a penalty. And the fact that they invested a second-round pick in Javante Williams, who is my second breakout here. Listen, I love Javante Williams. I love the upside. I love the talent. And he is a guy that should take that job. Listen, Melvin Gordon has had years to wow us. We're not wowed. Broncos brought him in, maybe said, hey, maybe we got ourselves a guy that can really you know, push the ball, get the red zone work, stuff like that. Was a little lackluster last year, looked okay, but they are thirsting for that true workhorse running back. They want to phase Melvin Gordon now. I know it. Vic knows it. Everybody on the coaching staff knows it. That as long as Javante Williams performs, which he, again, in the preseason game, looked like he looked okay, right? So as long as he performs, they've got themselves a workhorse running back. And I remember Elway talking to Royce Freeman, saying, hey, we're looking for that workhorse running back. I think you could be it. Royce Freeman wasn't it, you know, and I got kind of fooled into that as well. It is what it is. But I think that from a caliber, a, a talent caliber here, uh, Javante Williams is the guy that could be it. And you can get this guy for good value, rounds five to seven, depending on your league. Now, be careful. He's a sneaky guy. So when you're doing fantasy football drafts, even mock drafts, he's a guy that sometimes gets sniped unpredictably, okay? So kind of rounds four to seven, but again, depends on your league, how many people are in your league. If people like him, is there a Broncos fan? He's a tricky guy to get. But as an RB3 on your team, I would definitely consider him, okay? <clears throat> Next guy here, this is a tricky situation because I hate the Jets, but you know, talking to some Jets influencers that I know that follow the team, Michael Carter is a running back breakout potential. He has no competition there. He's got Coleman, P. Ryan, Ty Johnson, a bunch of bums there that have had years to wow us. We're not wowed. Michael Carter was a fourth-round pick. His college numbers looked okay, 156 attempts for 1,245 yards, nine touchdowns out of North Carolina in his last season playing. for Again, fourth-round pick. So, yeah, they invested in him, but not as high. But, again, they needed a quarterback and stuff like that. So, uh, also, Elijah Moore, they needed a wide receiver as well. So, Michael Carter, I mean, the talent is there. The opportunity is there. I still think they're going to run a bit of a committee. If he really shines, there's an opportunity here for Michael Carter to be a major breakout. Will the volume be there? Probably not initially. But, again, if he starts running with it, capitalizing on the opportunity, and, you know, again, there's no competition there that could start over him. Unless he really sucks, I don't see any reason why Michael Carter is not the starter and the full flow guy there, okay? So, going to be interesting. A young team with Zach Wilson, you know, Corey Davis. Apparently, Zach likes Davis. Elijah Moore, uh, some talent there. So, these guys could be, hate to say it, but could have some exciting moments, okay? Michael Carter as a breakout, okay? Fourth one here. Now, you can say, well, Joey already kind of broke out. Finished 13th last year amongst running backs. I'm not crazy on this guy. Like, I'm just not like, wow, I'm crazy about him. The guy I'm talking about is Antonio Gibson. But I look at the competition. Who does he got? J.D. McKissick, Peyton Barber. Like, who the hell's on that team? Like, Lamar Miller. Like, I don't even know who the other running backs are. Like, nor do I care. And we're hearing from coaching that, listen, Antonio Gibson's going to get that CMC-type workload. Do I believe that? Not really, but, hey, I mean, if I'm looking at a second-round running back and I need one, um, because, again, it gets really thin in the second round, your options are literally like, you know, Clyde edwards alaire um, Joe Mixon, guys like that. And it's like, I don't know if Clyde edwards alaire is going to get that volume. So I'm looking at Antonio Gibson as a guy, like really, that could shine this year, that could really um, take the ball and run with it. 170 attempts last year, which isn't bad. We definitely did see, see that go up to 220 at least. He did get the goal line work, 11 touchdowns. His rushing yards at 794 were really low for me. 36 receptions, not bad. I hope this goes up, and I think that it could. There's a huge breakup potential here, and again, it's a very, it's a bit of a risk, but he shouldn't be your RB1 anyway. He'd be your RB2 at best because that's where he's going around second or third round, okay? Antonio Gibson primed for a breakout season and then again you can say he broke out last year but it the numbers weren't substantial enough for me to say wow he broke out he's amazing uh but this year he has the opportunity to really shine okay so i've got uh two more i got one more guy and i got a couple honorable mentions here 
Uh, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and get that 16-round draft session. Don't hesitate, guys. Get it. I've linked it here below. And if you want um, advice year-round, I've actually introduced a Fantasy 365 course where I'm going to offer my optimal DFS plays, waiver wires, and some start and sit advice and answer a few questions for you guys there in the Fantasy 365 course. It's super affordable. Uh, go to my website under programs at thefantasyfootballaccounts.com under programs, and you're able to see it. And I'm telling you guys, you guys got that access throughout the year. Now, people ask me, <laughs> you know, is uh, is 16 rounds, is it a year long? Okay, guys, it's a draft solution. It helps you with the draft. 365 is for the year. Okay, guys? All right, last guy here, <clears throat> AJ Dillon. AJ Dillon is my last guy here as a breakout. Remember, if you guys don't remember, in college, 318 attempts, 1,685 yards, and he was a workhorse in college, okay? Coming into the NFL, obviously, Aaron Jones was there, <clears throat> which is a bit of a pest. Receptions, 13 receptions in college in his last year. Not that exciting. So that's why Aaron Jones gets utilized a little bit more in the passing game. But understand, guys, Jamal Williams is gone. That frees up 119 <clears throat> rushing attempts, which I think Dylan will get a lot more. Aaron Jones has shown signs of injuries in the past. He's not a, a true workhorse running back, Aaron Jones. He's just not. He gets, you know, what he makes up in lack of attempts on the ground. He makes up in receptions, and I understand that. I think Dylan gets really integrated more this year, and it's going to be kind of like a Nick Chubb slash Kareem Hunt type of situation where literally A.J. Dillon could be that Nick Chubb. That's an interesting take, isn't it? So A.J. Dillon, <clears throat> I think, could get a lot more work this year. Look for a big breakout year out of Mr. Quad's A.J. Dillon and great value in drafts, okay? Two honorable mentions, guys. Very easy here for me. Chris Evans, because I'm not sold on Joe Mixon. Rookie Chris Evans from the Cincinnati Bengals. Showing some flashes in preseason. And Larry Roundtree the third on the Chargers because I'm not sold on Austin Eckler, okay? Larry Roundtree is a guy that literally is a prototypical workhorse running back. They didn't invest high draft capital. I don't know whether he was round four or five, six, something. I think he was like round six pick or something like that. They got him for value, but sometimes these guys, <clears throat> they can surprise you if they get the volume. Again, we were talking about this. Some people are really good. They just never got the volume. And I think based on the situation, Eckler's just not a workhorse running back. So there's an opportunity there for Larry Roundtree to really shine. Again, Chris Evans from the Bengals because I'm not sold on Joe Mixon, okay? So there's seven breakouts for you guys, and a lot of these guys are really good value. You're Michael Carter. You're getting the sixth, seventh round maybe. Antonio Gibson a little more expensive. Najee first, second round a little more expensive, but you're doing Dylan Carter, Javante Williams, Larry Roundtree, and Chris Evans for immense value. And again, there's more guys. There's JV and Hawkins because I'm not really sold on Mike Davis. And, you know, you never know. Dalvin Cook, I don't think he plays a healthy season, so maybe it might be a year for Alexander Madison. And on and on and on and on and on. So make sure you guys do stash some of these guys on your bench for a major fantasy football breakout. Okay, guys? Subscribe, thumbs up. Head on over to thefantasyfootballcouncil.com right now. Get the 16-round draft solution. Fantasy football is here. Buckle up. It's going to be super exciting. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We go year-round. Thanks, guys, for being here. I am out. We'll talk soon. Fantasy football.